Hello YouTube. This video is going to be a bit different, a little meta. Um, I've been very busy this week and I didn't really have time to think about what I was going to do a video on. So now it's Friday already so I wanted to just get something up there and I thought I'd make it um, something that I've been meaning to get across for a while now. And uh, you know for starters I just wanted to point out that yes I have been doing videos in front of a really boring white wall the past few months. This is because I just moved to London and I live in one room and so I don't really have a lot of options. But I'm going to be moving again soon so hopefully my videos will get a bit better, more interesting with the background and with the lighting, hopefully. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is the YouTube crowd. I mean I know you guys are a sexy crowd, like mega sexy, and everyone you know, your friends, your family, tend to be models, you know, just other really sexy people and you're not used to seeing you know crazy beasts like me um, so I guess that might get in the way when you're listening to me say something you disagree with but you don't really have any facts to back up your position so instead you focus on the only thing you can really see which is how hideous I am so I wanted to say that's totally cool, and I, there there have been a few comments um, about particular parts of my physical attributes, and I thought I would just put them out there so that others who disagree with me but don't have any facts might latch on to these. One thing you can talk about is my hair. I don't really, I'm not a good girl. I don't, I don't own a blow dryer and things like that. And you can, I, I actually cut my own hair mostly because I'm cheap, but um, you can see that even today, you know, they're in these weird little bun things. That's that's just because I didn't feel like washing my hair today, and it gets kind of greasy if I leave it down, so I have to, to do that. I know, right? Um, another thing is my eyebrows. A few people have mentioned my eyebrows. They are bushy. They're bushy eyebrows. Um, it's weird because until YouTube came along, it never occurred to me to feel bad about them. But I still don't. I think they're kind of awesome. They're like mighty, er, mighty eyebrows. But they're not necessarily delicate, girly eyebrows that you're used to seeing. So I can see how that might be a bit distracting for you. So you might want to make fun of me for that. But you should have really seen me when I was a kid. And it was just one long, like, caterpillar going right across here and then one day my cousin she strapped me down uh, and she said you know what you're in high school now and you should look like a girl so she she ripped she like waxed it ripped it right off and then never really never really came back so it's kind of like um, my my eyebrow reproduced asexually it was just the one thing and then it split and now they've become two organisms um, so you might want to make fun of that. The other thing you might want to mention are my teeth. Uh, so you can see, see my bottom teeth, they're kind of, they're kind of crowded. And yeah, that's pretty messed up. I didn't get braces when I was a kid. Frankly, I'm kind of glad because they don't really bother me and braces would have sucked. So, um, but yeah, you might want to mock that. But here's something that a lot, like no one has actually commented on. That you might want to bring up in your criticism is that um, the reason why they're crowded, I think one of the reasons is because when I was, when I was born, I was born with um, the thing that attaches your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. Is that thing? That's really small on me. It's really short. So uh, it like tugs on my teeth or something. I think that's what makes it crowd. But that means I can only stick my tongue out this far. That's it. I mean, I was still, you know, pretty popular with the boys, so it didn't make that much of a difference. But that's a good thing, I think, to bring up if you're mocking me. So I think that's pretty much everything. But I should mention that when you do focus on my physical attributes as opposed to um, what I'm saying, it tells me that I'm right. And that might not be the message you want to send. I think you're trying to make me feel bad, but what actually happens is that I read your comment and I think, oh, that person is wrong and has no other way to prove their point, so they're resorting to making fun of me. I have no
another message. So I'm going to take that. And uh, in, in the meanwhile, um, thanks for watching, everybody. And hopefully next week I'll come back with an actual video about something. Bye.